the difference. In fact, I go all over, all over the state, I know people who knocked on a thousand doors, and I can say to them, and with all sincerity, you made all the difference. You got me elected. I would not be in the Senate if it weren't for you. I say that, I have to, it's actually kind of a bummer for me. I have to thank all these people all the time saying I wouldn't be there if it weren't for you. I even thank people who worked for Coleman who did a terrible job. I say thank you. You just were terrible. You were awful. Thank you. Thank you. So it is so crucial that you be involved in this in the 2012 election. And I almost hate to talk about the election this early. I, this is really about next year. In the meantime, what we've got to do is start creating jobs. And I want you to be talking to your, I don't know what part of the state everyone's from, but some of you have, I would imagine, members who are Republicans. There you go. And, and I'm sure your Republican, whoever he is, loves your t-shirt. <laughs> Um, but we need to start creating jobs. We need to be investing in our future. We need to invest in our kids. We have to be very, we have to make cuts, but we have to be careful what those cuts are. And we have to raise revenues. We have to be careful how we do that, on whom we do it, and when we do it. And we've got to make sure that we invest in the right things. So I thank you for b being here today. I thank you, oh, oops, those of you who are DFLers, I thank you, oh, it's going out that way, okay. I thank you for being DFLers and for working for the party. If there are Republicans here or independents, I thank you for listening. Uh, we need to have a, pol uh, a politics where we are civil to each other and where we listen to each other and we listen to reason. And we listen to facts, facts. Facts are kind of important. So thank you all, and I'll be uh, taking hands here.